it is so hot. I literally can't believe that it's still September and that in September it is still this hot. But that's just an excuse for me to look like a mess right now. I am a little bit hot, so please don't judge my appearance. And today we're going to have a Chanel haul. I am so excited because even though I said that I'm hot right now, the temperature outside, it is starting to drop a little bit. So soon I'll be able to enjoy everything that I got. And also today I'll be testing a new microphone. My brother told me that the sound of my videos is absolutely horrible so i bought this little thing and i really hope that you'll be able to hear me a little bit better so let's start the unboxing okay so i have two bags i have this smaller bag which is something that i bought i think it was back in june and then i also have this big bag which is from 23k and i think that I will start with this bag. Normally, I would leave the bag unboxing for last, but I feel like this time I have waited long enough. I have been waiting for this bag since March. So I'm going to open it first. Okay, so here we have the box and this is a true unboxing. I have been patiently waiting to have some free time to unbox it real life with you guys. I really hope that the microphone is working and I won't have to do it again, but Anyway, let's open this. So this is, I believe, the most loved and hated Chanel bag of the year. And I feel like you may already know what I'm talking about. And okay, I feel like there's no point of hiding it because this is the bag. This is the bag. This is the Chanel Nano shopping bag I think it's called officially something like that but as you may have already seen on social media or you just remember this bag in general from the 90s the original bag that this bag was inspired by was called the party Kelly or mini party Kelly something like that and that's a bag that I had been looking for on the pre-loved market for something like I don't know, maybe two years, but the prices of that bag are insane. They start at like 6,000 euros now, or maybe even more. I think it goes even up to like eight, ten thousand 10,000, because those bags are so rare. So when I saw it on the runway, like this new version of it, I got so excited because as much as I appreciate vintage Chanel, it is still a piece of leather that is more than 30 years old. So I just feel like paying that much money for it, I, I can't do it. I just, I couldn't justify it. So this got me so excited. I'm so happy that Virginie brought it back. Here we have the little care card. Well, okay, it's not that little. And the little microfiber cloth, which is for cleaning and buffing up the leather. And I know that I kind of revealed, well, not kind of, I revealed what bag I got, but I didn't reveal the color. So there is still some mystery to this unboxing. So let's do this. <laughs> I cannot believe that I'm holding this bag right now. I know that it may sound silly, but this bag is so hard to get vintage and now also brand new so the fact that this is actually happening right now is very exciting for me okay let me finally show it to you okay guys this is it ah okay maybe not yet now this is it and here she comes the chanel nano bag in black crumpled calfskin leather with antique gold hardware okay this didn't happen how i expected it because it's still very um packed up let's remove all of this packaging i can't i am so excited this is so cute stop stop 
I don't know how people can hate this bag. Honestly, like, it's so pretty. It's so Chanel. It's giving me 90s. It's giving me a little bit of Karl Lagerfeld. It's giving me just, it's giving everything. I am obsessed. Look how pretty it is. I mean, I tried it on at the store, but when you have it at home, it's like a completely different feeling. Here she is. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, her. I'm so happy. I love it so much. It's just the perfect little bag. And I've actually been watching this series from the 90s and a lot of the bags look like her. So it just, it's been making me even more excited to get it. And I mean, just perfection, absolute perfection. So let me show you a little bit how it looks. So we have the front, the sides, the back. The back looks the same as the front, basically. And then we have the bottom, no back feet. It's always good to have back feet, but it's okay. Like, I'll, I'll forgive Virginie for this one. And then we have the opening, opening. And then we have the opening, the CC turn lock and it's open this way it's like a little flap it is not a big bag but it does fit the iphone pro max sizes which i truly appreciate to be honest i feel like this is the first bag that i could have bought either way even if it didn't fit my iphone but now that i know that it fits it just makes me even more excited for it so this is the inside of the bag let me remove the packaging it is leather lined and it's made in Italy. It has one zip compartment pocket. And then it also has, yeah, it also has one more pocket. And then we have the chain. The chain is not detachable, but you can put it inside. For me, I am not really bothered by the fact that you cannot remove it because I feel like I can just put it inside and the bag is still spacious enough for me and for my essentials. This is what the bag looks like when it's not completely closed. And I mean, you do kind of need both hands to open and close it, but at the same time, I don't mind it as well, once again, because this is not going to be my everyday bag. And it's also not that uncomfortable. Plus you have the crossbody chain, so you can just easily use both hands to open and close the bag and i'm so excited to actually start using this bag i don't have anything like this in my handbag collection so she's the perfect addition okay i feel like i have been talking about this a lot maybe i should do a separate unboxing for the rest of my items no you know what i am not going to do it to you guys but let's wrap up on the bag if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i absolutely love her and now let's unbox the other items my hair is crazy but okay let's ignore my hair next up what do we have so this like i said i got back in june and this is just something timeless and classic that I had been waiting for because I wasn't able to get it in my size. So we have a pair of Chanel ballerinas. Ballerinas are back, you like it or not, but I feel like this is the type of shoe that's going to come back in fashion on and off. Like a few years are going to pass by and then it's going to come back in fashion, then it's going to go out of fashion and then go back in fashion. But this is a very timeless and classic Chanel piece to have. And I'm very excited to finally have a pair of these. I missed out the in the early 2000s when they came back in fashion. I wasn't able to afford them. So now I have happily purchased my first pair of Chanel ballerinas. And I got the leather with patent leather toe. Am I explaining things right? I don't know. But there's the CCs. And I mean, it's a very classic, timeless, boring pair of shoes. But they're cute. Okay, they are cute. Is it going to? Could they go together? Maybe it's a little bit too much. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would necessarily wear these together. But separately, these are cute. Or with my 
other Chanel bags also could be cute. Very simple, very pretty, nothing special ballerinas. Okay, let's move on to the next item. And the last item that I got is also another classic piece and something that I had postponed getting for years but now once again it was available in my size so I got super excited tried it on and they were absolutely stunning I mean I can see myself buying more and more pairs of this style beautiful packaging because they just felt so comfortable in the store what is going on with my hair I look I look so crazy. So here is my first pair of Chanel classic slingbacks. They are so pretty. They're so pretty. Some people call these grandma shoes, but for me, calling something a grandma shoe or a grandma bag is actually a compliment because first of all, Aging is a privilege. And second of all, if you can call something a grandma shoe or a grandma bag, that means that that item has survived decades and decades and decades and still looks amazing. So if you call these grandma shoes, I will take it as a compliment. And in fact, some people have been calling this bag a grandma bag as well. And if you will say that to me, I will take it as a compliment and also there are so many cool grandmas right now i think i've said this already in other videos that being called a grandma or having grandma shoes is not a bad thing at all so yeah maybe i'm getting old <laughs> maybe i'm turning into a grandma but i absolutely love these shoes they are so beautiful i tried them on at the store and they just look simply stunning they have the little cc gold logo on the side the heel is um very comfortable very comfortable height so i am absolutely obsessed with these shoes with the ballerinas and also with my new bag so that's it for today's video guys i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love talking about fashion and i do love shopping so let's stay in touch and i will see you in my next video bye guys stay safe